Hey, what's going on guys? Greg here today bringing you guys a Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay commentary and what you'll be watching in the background is my best gameplay from the beta. I'm not going to go over the score or anything like that. I want you guys to see it for yourselves. But I was running the air superiority, the attack chopper, and the chopper gunner and I ended up getting two chopper gunners in this gameplay. So today what I'm going to do is take some time to talk about my plans as well as uh, my final thoughts from the beta and what I have seen. So we're going to talk about my plans for Cold War, giving you guys an idea of what kind of content you guys can uh, expect to see from me on the channel. So we're going to talk about that real quick and then we're going to get into the things that I liked and disliked about the game. So first things first for my plans for Black Ops Cold War is I'm going to be uploading gameplays where I basically just break them down and talk about you know what I'm doing in the gameplay how you guys can improve as players and stuff like that but I think from the beginning of Cold War I'm going to really have to learn uh, you know how, how this game plays because from the beta obviously it didn't tell the whole story things are going to change and for the most part the hit detection and connection in the beta was very scuffed for me I had a huge issues uh, with hit detection. I don't know if some of you guys did. I know some people didn't have any issues with hit detection, but for me it was just a really, really rough experience. I'd say 9 out of 10 games. So, yeah, I really didn't get a good feel for the game because of that, so I'm going to have to really learn how to play the game once I actually get hands on the full game. Now, one of the things I did want to make mention of is for my other, you know, things that I'm going to do is obviously create a class, uh, like custom class tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. I'm also going to be doing map guides for traditional six versus six multiplayer. But um, so far, I think that's really just what you guys can expect coming from me for the beginning of the game. So we're not going to do anything too crazy off the rip because, like I said, I really just have to kind of learn the game. But I just want to give you guys a little heads up that I am going to be doing the map guides for this game as well as uh, some custom class guides to help you guys whenever the game drops um, so you'll know what you can put on your class and uh, what's going to be fun to use and you know what I would recommend or what to stay clear from. Now with that being said uh, let's go ahead and talk about my thoughts from this beta and I'm going to be completely honest like I said my connection experience was very rough. I did not really enjoy the game too much as I thought I would and that's simply because I was just too frustrated by the connection the entire beta. There was, I'd, like I said, about one out of every ten games I actually had a match where the hit detection did feel proper. Um, but for about the other nine matches something just felt way off and it I was counting some of the bullets on some of the gameplays I had and it took me almost 16 to 20 bullets while shooting at somebody and not even really missing a shot. Like of course there might be one or two shots missed from recoil, but I wasn't really even missing shots and I was dumping almost half a mag into somebody before the thing would actually kill them. Or there would be times where I'd kill them once they were already way around the corner or I would die once I was already way around the corner. So for me, the connection, I really hope they iron it out before the game releases or else it's going to be a very rough beginning for the game for a lot of people since I know this was a huge complaint for a lot of people. Now the other bad obviously in my opinion is the skill based matchmaking felt extremely rough but I think that's just because all the game battles players, pro players and everybody else are in pubs because of course there's no custom games in this so that's just how it's going to be if you're a higher skilled pub player you're going to be playing against obviously pros and uh, very high tier game battles players and usually those kinds of people have really good aim really good movement and stuff like that so it's overall going to feel sweatier um, but once of course you know the game launches and RB ranked mode and all that other kind of stuff I think it's going to be a little bit more of a relaxed experience kind of like how modern warfare kind of feels where it is sweaty but it's it's manageable right so I, I feel that uh, the skill-based matchmaking might be okay once the game actually releases and you know everybody's in their respective playlist. But anyways, uh, some one other thing I didn't really care for was actually the 12 versus 12 mode and I was kind of disappointed because I really always used to like to play ground war back in the day. And what I mean by this is back in the day there was ground war which was 9 versus 9 and it always felt to me like the traditional Call of Duty experience. It was fast paced, killstreaks did a lot of work and stuff like that and that's what I was hoping to get out of the 12v12. However, 
the maps were just way too big and Cartel was the only small map and even then there was really no ways to get flanks off if your team wasn't so great. So if you're playing solo or just playing with some casual friends, if you are the only strong player on your team or whatnot, you're going to have an awful experience because, well, it basically just becomes a spawn trap and there's really no way to flank on how large or how small Cartel is, I should say. But Armada and Crossroads, in my opinion, are just maps that really seem like they would fit something like 24 versus 24, not 12 v 12. They were just way too big. There was just not a lot of action going on. With that being said, though, I really did enjoy the 6v6 traditional multiplayer in this game. Even with the weird aim assist and hit reg going on, that's, that is another thing I do want to mention real quick, is the, hit, the aim assist, I think, needs tuned. It really does. Uh, there were so many times where I'd be shooting at somebody, and it was just so hard to track them because the aim assist is so strong that it was fighting my actual aim. And I know a lot of people are also having this complaint with the game. So I really feel that that needs tuned, and it should be just honestly just copy the settings from Modern Warfare. It can't be that hard. Modern Warfare had some really good settings. Uh, maybe focusing needs looked into as well as precision because I know that those are kind of like what the PC players call the soft aimbot on controller or whatnot. But um, overall, let's get back to what I was saying about the uh, 6v6. So 6v6, like I said, the pacing was good. I felt the pacing was pretty strong. Like you could go on flanks, you could run around, do your thing, you could, you know, there, it catered towards like every single play style. And I also just found that um, just the way the game is set up like how you know the the gunsmith feels and everything so far for me and the kill streaks and stuff like that i just feel like the game is meant for 6v6 um you know modern warfare i felt ground war was one of the better ways because traditional 6v6 the maps were really big they didn't really flow the way um that 6v6 feels good in so for me modern warfare was all about 10v10 and ground war but in this game, I feel it's the other way around. I feel that 6v6 feels really good, so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and play the traditional 6v6. Now, uh, the kill streaks need buffing, I feel, for the most part. The chopper gunner's okay. I mean, it's really easy to shoot down if you use those cavalry barrels or whatever they're called, as well as, uh, of course, you know, still launchers and stuff to take them down. So the, the chopper gunner is hit or miss. It just depends on what kind of players you're playing against. But the rest of the kill streaks, they're not so great. The artillery is really the only streak that feels like it's truly good, and that's just because it's basically a carbon copy of the lightning strike from previous COD games. And the air superiority is obviously, I think it needs a little bit more score to earn, because it just takes out, it could take out a chopper gunner instantly. Like, I, I don't really know if that is the most balanced thing out there, especially because there are so many other ways to destroy kill streaks, anyways. So, I'm really hoping in the uh, final build of the game there are some more exciting kill streaks, as well as just some better kill streaks overall. Um, just because I really felt in this beta they were pretty lackluster and they were not really all that exciting to use, or they were just not really good at all. Um, so, I feel that a lot of them do need fine tuning and buffing. But. The maps, I don't really think the maps are necessarily terrible in this beta. Um, I think that they are okay. I think there's some visibility issues, not what was causing, uh, you know, us to not have some fun, uh, which would have been something like the bushes here on Cartel. These bushes really need to be trimmed down because right now they are just insanely tall and you can't see anybody uh, sometimes there's people even laying in them so yeah th those need to be changed also Miami needs a little bit more brightness tuning I feel this really hard to spot people on that map satellite it's pretty easy to see people on satellite I never really had any trouble there Moscow same thing I didn't really tr struggle seeing anyone on Moscow so real quick the last part of this commentary I just want to go over the movement in this game because I think the movement definitely needs some tuning and that is because the sliding feels really glitchy and the jump height I feel it's maybe a little bit questionable for a more boots on the ground experience and you know a non uh, jet packing Call of Duty I feel that the jump height might just need to be tuned back just a little wee bit I don't really think that uh, you know having a high jump like Black Ops 4 had is a bad thing but I think that you know for the majority of players they're probably going to want a more boots on the ground experience and I felt that it felt also a little gimmicky just how high you could jump especially for a Cold War setting it almost felt like you were, you know, LeBron James or something, shooting a, 
shooting a hoop or something like that. But uh, yeah, so I, I really think the movement needs a little bit of work. The it, it felt clunky and the sliding, like I said, is glitchy. It felt like people were teleporting around the map uh, in some instances. There's a lot of clips on Reddit you've probably seen of people just sliding out of the way, or you know, they come sliding around the corner and they just fly. So there's definitely some tuning that needs to happen with the movement, and I really hope that before the game launches, Treyarch will figure out how you know they want the movement to feel in this game, and it will be polished. Because in my opinion, this game just really, really needs polish. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.